That afternoon, Kazuya was at the school cafeteria during lunch break. He was holding his camera, scanning the surroundings for a good photo opportunity. Accidentally, Kazuya noticed Hikari eating a burger by herself, and he wanted to take a picture of her. Hikari realized that Kazuya was secretly trying to snap a photo of her. She called him out, accusing him of being a stalker. Of course, Kazuya defended himself, saying that Hikari was being too harsh by calling him a stalker. Hikari then asked why he was following her if he wasn't a stalker. Kazuya explained that it was because she made a good photo subject. He then told her that she didn't know how to eat a burger properly. Hikari didn't care, saying that it was because her mouth was small. Kazuya then showed her the correct way to eat a burger by squishing it with his hands. Hikari said that doing so went against her sense of aesthetics. Kazuya teased her, pointing out that she shouldn't say that when she had sauce on her cheek. Kazuya continued, then opened his mouth wide and ate the burger in one bite. Hikari just stared at him in surprise. However, she eventually tried it herself and ate her burger that way. The next day arrived, and the teacher was giving a lesson at the front of the class. Everyone was listening intently, except Kazuya, who was pretending to frame the teacher in his hands as if he were photographing her. When the teacher turned around, Kazuya pretended to listen, and his eyes wandered to the window, smiling as he saw Hikari playing catch with other girls. After class ended, Kazuya headed to the shoe locker area, where he ran into Hikari, who was putting her shoes away. Kazuya greeted her, but Hikari seemed busy and ignored him. Kazuya then mentioned that he wanted to take her picture. Surprisingly, Hikari didn't mind. She thought to herself that Kazuya really did love photographing people. Kazuya also knew that Ikari liked taking pictures of everything except people. They then went outside and Kazuya began snapping photos of Hikari in various poses. Hikari commented that Kazuya should be taking pictures of prettier and cuter people than her. Kazuya replied that wasn't the point of photography and continued taking her pictures. He then said he wanted to capture her smile just once. Hikari firmly refused, saying she didn't want to. Kazuya, confused, asked if she didn't like smiling. As she walked away, Hikari said she also didn't like being photographed. Kazuya could only stand there, watching her leave. Then, Nakagawa and Azuma suddenly appeared, teasing Kazuya, saying it looked like he was in big trouble now. Kazuya thought about it and realized they were right. He had never seen Hikari smile. Later on, teacher Momoko thanked Kazuya for helping her take out the trash. Kazuya was surprised, wondering how she had gotten lost again. She only smiled at Kazuya's teasing. When asked, Momoko admitted that she still didn't know the way back, so Kazuya ended up walking her home again. Afterward in the school garden, Hikari was seen taking pictures of a flower and also of herself. Kazuya, standing behind her, was puzzled because Hikari usually avoided photographing people, but now she was taking pictures of herself. Hikari explained that it was because of what Kazuya had said. It made her curious about how she looked in photos. Hearing that, Kazuya smiled, saying it was a good thing and suggesting that she also try photographing other people like she did earlier. Hikari just responded that she didn't like photographing people. As they walked together, Kazuya became curious and asked why Hikari always talked like that. Hikari explained that whenever she took pictures of someone, they would instantly smile. But those smiles were fake. People would never know if those smiles were truly genuine. Hikari said that she hated seeing fake smiles, which was why she wouldn't smile herself. Kazuya felt sad and confused hearing her explanation. Then, Hikari ran off, leaving Kazuya behind. On the bright next day, Kazuya and Hikari went out together to take photos of the beautiful city. However, every time Hikari pointed her camera at something, Kazuya would always manage to sneak his face into the frame. Hikari assumed that Kazuya was bored, but he denied it, saying that this was something new for him since he was usually the one taking pictures of people. Hikari continued to take photos of things that she found visually appealing, but once again, Kazuya kept photobombing her shots. Hikari then mentioned that she loved photographing flowers the most, especially the ones on the side of the road that nobody paid attention to. She added that flowers would never betray her. The next day, Kazuya woke up determined to make Hikari start taking pictures of people. At school, Kazuya had a conversation with Katsumi on the rooftop, sharing Hikari's reason for not wanting to photograph people. Katsumi was curious about it too. Kazuya explained that he wanted to change Hikari's mind about photographing people. To him, not wanting to take pictures of people just because she didn't like smiles seemed a bit gloomy. He was determined to do whatever it took to change that. Katsumi supported Kazuya's determination and suggested asking around the drama club if they knew someone who could help. Later that afternoon, Hikari received a text from Kazuya, asking her to meet him behind the school. Curious, she made her way there. To her surprise, Kazuya was already waiting, dressed in a ridiculous flower costume. 
He eagerly offered her the chance to take his photo. Seeing this, Ikari couldn't help but say, Aren't you stupid or something? Kazuya responded, saying that if acting silly could lift her spirits, then he didn't mind being called stupid. However, Hikari simply shrugged and walked away. Kazuya, with all sincerity, expressed his wish for Hikari to take pictures of people. He was willing to do anything for that to happen. Despite his earnestness, Hikari remained indifferent and walked off. Time passed, and even though Kazuya had vowed to change her, he was out of ideas. The season shifted from autumn to winter, but Kazuya refused to give up, even though he felt embarrassed about his lack of progress. While walking alone in the shopping district, Kazuya spotted Ikari walking by herself too. He approached her and noticed that she was taking pictures of a stray cat. Kazuya once again tried to get into the frame, but as expected, Hikari frowned at him. Kazuya asked if Hikari liked taking photos of cats too. As she walked away, Ikari replied that she enjoyed the aura that stray cats gave off. Hearing this gave Kazuya an idea. At another time, Kazuya discussed his plan with the photography club members. He wanted to involve the club in his new plan. Kazuya mentioned that they would need some costumes, but Shida, who was present, said that she knew someone who had the costumes Kazuya was looking for. Katsumi also mentioned that she had a contact who worked at an amusement park and had similar costumes. Meanwhile, Hikari, who was sitting in front of her computer, received a message from Kazuya on her phone. He told her that he had found a cute cat near the mall and invited her to come take pictures of it with him. Near the mall, Ichida was seen spraying something on Izuma, who was dressed in a costume. Ichida mentioned that Izuma needed to act just like a stray cat. Nakagawa was already there, hiding in the gutter, while Kazuya, who was also dressed in a cat costume, was stretching to prepare. Ichida fanned the scent of cat food from a grill, attracting the attention of some stray cats. As Hikari approached the scene, she already suspected something strange was going on, especially when she saw Kazuya in his cat costume. Azuma and Nakagawa, who were all set to sneak pictures of Hikari's panties and chest, failed miserably because a bunch of cats surrounded them. Kazuya, who had already put on the cat costume, started acting as if he was a real cat. He rolled around on the street, asking Hikari to take his picture. But every time, the cat headpiece kept falling off. Kazuya would put it back on and strike a pose, hoping Hikari would take a shot, but instead, Hikari just laughed. She told Kazuya that he should take off the costume because it was dangerous. But Kazuya wasn't ready to give up, so he asked her again to take his photo. He struck another pose in the cat costume, but it seemed like his efforts were in vain. Eventually, he gave up and took off the costume. Hikari just laughed and said at least it was funny. The next day, Kazuya was panting heavily as he ran to meet Hikari at a bookstore. Hikari laughed when she saw him because Kazuya was still carrying the big cat head from the costume he wore the day before. Kazuya explained that he was late because there was no place to store the giant cat head. After riding the train, the two of them arrived at Kuva Amusement Park. They started walking around trying to pick which rides to go on. On one of the rides, Kazuya looked terrified while Hikari didn't seem phased at all. She remained as stoic as ever. It was the same when they went through the haunted house ride. Hikari didn't seem scared in the slightest. They continued trying out other rides, but Kazuya looked more and more terrified and nauseous with each extreme ride they took. As they walked by a photo booth, Hikari paused for a moment, gazing at it, but then turned her head and kept walking. Finally, they got on the Ferris wheel together. Kazuya told Hikari that they'd be able to see Mount Fuji clearly from up there. Hikari agreed, saying the weather was indeed perfect for it. By the time evening rolled around, they were heading back on the train. While walking together, Kazuya said he had a great time, and Hikari admitted it had been a while since she felt that way. Hikari then invited Kazuya to go somewhere she couldn't visit alone. Kazuya agreed, wondering what kind of place it could be. It turned out Hikari brought him to a hill where they could overlook the city's beautiful lights. She explained she didn't want to go there alone at night. Kazuya understood. Hikari asked him to lend her his camera. She placed it on a tripod and aimed it at the sky. Hikari mentioned that the spot was far from the city's bright lights, making the stars appear much clearer. She also asked Kazuya to hold the shutter connected to the camera. They both sat down on a bench and Hikari thanked him for everything. Kazuya responded by saying he didn't really do anything, it was Hikari who won the day. As they gazed at the stars, Hikari admitted that she felt a little scared. She shared that she had a tendency to daydream a lot when she was a kid. She also loved photographing insects and flowers. But since middle school, the other girls in her class started talking to her. She began getting into conversations about fashion and music, but she was never really interested in those things. Hikari started playing around, dressing up, and smiling. She began to understand more and more of what they were talking about. 
In reality, she was thrilled to have friends for the first time. She tried to fit in with them. But it turned out that to them, Hikari was just some weird girl. They only wanted to hang out to make themselves look better. They kept bossing her around. It made Hikari so frustrated with them that she decided to stop hanging out with them. After that, they started teasing and bullying her. Kazuya thought to himself that what they did was awful. One day, one of Hikari's classmates claimed to have lost their wallet. The wallet was then found in Hikari's bag. She kept saying over and over that she didn't do it, but the teacher seemed to have already accused her from the start. Her classmates really cornered her, and Hikari could even hear their laughter in the classroom. The girls hated her, and the boys started to tease her. Their smiles were different than before. It was as if Hikari could tell what they were thinking. Of course, Hikari felt very sad. Kazuya then asked if that was why Hikari never smiled anymore. Hikari said she no longer trusted smiles. Hearing her story made Kazuya feel upset too. Hikari then said that she did trust Kazuya's smile. She also told Kazuya that it was probably time to release the camera shutter. When they looked at the photo, it turned out to be stunning. Flowers and stars could be seen in the picture. Kazuya thought it looked like heaven. While looking at the photo, Hikari asked Kazuya what he wished for from the shooting star in the sky. Kazuya replied that he loved Hikari's smile. He added that he could count on one hand the number of times he had seen her smile. But Kazuya loved Hikari's smile, so he wished to see it as many times as there are stars or even more than that. That was Kazuya's wish. Hikari blushed when she heard that. She then asked if she could take a picture of Kazuya's smile. Kazuya immediately agreed. Hikari pointed her camera at Kazuya's face and snapped the photo. For her, it was the first time she had taken a picture of someone since she entered high school. After the picture was taken, Kazuya asked what Hikari wanted. Hikari responded that she also wanted to see Kazuya smile more often. After saying that, Hikari tried to warm her hands by blowing on them. Seeing this, Kazuya held Hikari's hands and put them inside his jacket pocket. Hikari felt warm because of it. Kazuya moved his face closer to Hikari's, and the two shared a kiss under the starlight. The next day, Kazuya and Hikari were seen relaxing and taking photos of each other on a boat. Some other visitors at the location teased them. Kazuya then rowed the boat away from the crowd. While rowing, Kazuya invited Hikari to go to the beach next weekend. Hikari agreed to the plan and said she would wait for him at the bookstore near the station. Kazuya was curious why I had to be at the bookstore. Hikari explained that it was a place where she could read books if Kazuya was late. Kazuya smiled and said it took time for Hikari to trust him. Time passed, and now they were at the beach. Kazuya was photographing Hikari, who was wearing a swimsuit and playing on the beach. Hikari happily posed for pictures, smiling and striking various poses. Not only that, Hikari also took pictures of Kazuya. Kazuya captured many photos of Hikari there. In a room, there were plenty of pictures of Hikari and Kazuya, some of them alone and others together. And out of all those photos, it started with one where Hikari was eating a hamburger.